Hey everyone, welcome back to Let It Drive. In this video, I wanted to showcase a brand new feature of Comma.ai's latest version of OpenPilot, Disable Use of Lane Lines. I'm going to show a few different clips of driving performance with the feature on and then off so that you can compare. Comma.ai recently announced that OpenPilot version 0.8.3 has been released. A lot of work has been done, and this new laneless feature is truly a game changer. If you are new to OpenPilot, think of it as similar to Tesla's Autopilot feature. It is an aftermarket product that can be manually installed in your car to take it one step closer to being self-driving. You can check down in the description for more info. So with the 0.8.3 update, we got a new interface for the Comma 2, and it looks a lot cleaner and more responsive. As you can see from the Comma 2 menu, the Lane Change Assist toggle has been removed, and by default, it is always on, because most of the users are using it. It's also become a vastly improved feature over time. Since the update, the menu shows a new feature. Disable use of Lane Lines. Comma.ai describes it as a feature that will allow OpenPilot to ignore lane lines and just drive how it thinks a human would. If this feature is enabled, you can see from the Comma 2 screen that lane tracking is off. This is to remind you that it isn't using that feature, and your driving path becomes red instead of white. Disabling the use of lane lines does not mean that your vehicle will suddenly ignore the boundaries of the road and take you on unexpected off-road adventures. OpenPilot still uses the lanes for driving, but more effort is spent looking at the road ahead. This is done in an attempt to emulate more human-like driving behavior, as well as more naturally adapt the vehicle's path considering road conditions ahead. With the toggle off, it fully concentrates on the lane lines and tries to keep the car centered in its lane. Following this video, I made comparison clips on three different occasions with three different road conditions highway, road with no middle lane line, and a less maintained country road. Here you can see my driving on the highway with the base model. The disable use of lane lines feature is off, and OpenPilot keeps my car perfectly centered in its lane. You can also see from the side mirrors that the car is equally centered on both sides. Now here we see the same road, but with the new feature turned on. I'm driving on the right lane. And from the side mirrors, you can see that the car is definitely holding closer to the outside of the road. However, when it detects lanes on both sides, like an off-ramp for example, or when driving in the second lane of a three-lane highway, the car will become centered correctly in its lane, just like the base model. The new update allows OpenPilot to operate your vehicle in a more holistic way, giving it more freedom to maneuver while also considering more information about the road and the multiple options your car has for a path. In this scenario, I am driving again with the lane-based model, and OpenPilot is focusing on the lane lines. I'm crossing a small junction. Just before the parking lot, you can see we don't have a middle line that is separating the lanes anymore. This is a small two-way road, and the lane lines only exist on the shoulders. Already, OpenPilot is trying to center the car directly in the middle of the road, which is a definite no-go for me. A human driver would drive closer to the right side. This is the same road, but with the Disable Use of Lane Lines feature turned on. On the Comma 2 display, we see the driving path colored in red. Sadly, no Volkswagen here anymore. Here, we are crossing the junction, and so far, everything is perfect. Even without a lane dividing line, the car is beautifully hugging the right side just like I would, so there is enough room for other cars who are driving towards me on the other side. Truly impressive. In this clip, you can see we are heading down a less maintained country road with no lane lines. The road is wide, and there is a small curve ahead to the left. I have sped up the video to two times speed. The car is going 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour. The car stays closer to the right side like I would. Because there are no lane lines, OpenPilot is using the laneless model, but it is trying to find lane lines. And from the comma 2, I can see it occasionally detect white gravel on the left side and interpret that as a line. 
This causes the vehicle to make a very small steering adjustment to the left. However, because it's not a clearly defined line, and OpenPilot is not using the whole camera view from the Comma 2 device, it still manages to operate the vehicle effectively, and does its best to follow the right side of the road. It's truly amazing what George Hotz and the awesome Comma.ai team are doing. In this clip, I'm driving fully using laneless mode. I'm on the same road at the same speed as before. Approaching the curve, it feels a little bit like the car is more closely hugging the right side of the road compared to when I'm using the lane-based mode. Yet still, I think it's doing a better job, and there is enough room for other vehicles on the road. It's very impressive that OpenPilot is capable of driving on roads like this, even where the roadsides are slightly faded and not super clear. So, what is my conclusion on the new update? I think if your everyday commute is driving on the highway, with wide roads and perfectly clear lane lines, and you prefer that OpenPilot operate your vehicle more strictly given these conditions, then the base model is perfect for you. But if your commute takes your drive on many different road conditions, such as highways, mountain roads, smaller two-way back roads, and even roads with no lane lines, this new mode, in my opinion, is truly impressive. However, as a reminder, this new fully laneless mode is very much still an alpha version. There have been a few instances while I've been driving on city roads with less clear lane lines where the car has driven over the lane dividing boundary. It is very important that you always pay full attention while driving, because open pilot cannot sense vehicles that are directly beside you on either side. As always, stay focused and keep your hands on standby on the steering wheel. These videos are only meant to demonstrate the features of OpenPilot, and you, as a driver, need to be always fully focusing on the road ahead and your surroundings. You are the driver, not OpenPilot. It is simply fantastic that OpenPilot is constantly improving and getting new updates, but you only need one error or miscalculation to have an accident so don't abuse the system, and drive safe. I just want you and everyone else on the road to get where you're going safely. Let me know if you have any more questions about the video, and for more content, please subscribe. See you next time!